what is the best time to do outreach? Now, I get that question quite a lot and here's really my answer to that question. First of all, when you're just starting your SMA, your main focus should be sales and outreach. That's really what's gonna allow you to scale your agency. And the funny thing is, once you lock in those first few clients, the, those first, the, the first few clients are always the hardest ones. Most people experience a, a dry spell and that's what was gonna test your character. But once you lock uh, in those, those first clients, those first few clients, everything just, just takes off exponentially for a number of reasons. You get, you build up momentum, uh, you also get more confident. Also, you can use the testimonials, case studies, and, and just proof concept that those first clients uh, or given you, you know, your, your operations and your systems are stress tested. Uh, there's just a bunch of things that just fall into place when you lock in those first clients. And so outreach is your number one priority when it comes to the work that you put into your agency. So there are two main things that you need to keep in mind when doing this outreach. The first thing is your top priority should be outreach. Your top priority when you get to work should be outreach and you want to move with the business clock. What I mean by this is your prospects are probably going to be checking their inbox, e uh, messages, their email, uh, LinkedIn, their social media, first thing in the morning. Uh, that's what most people will do, right? It's, it's definitely not the best thing that you should do, but that's really what most people do before they really get swamped with their to-dos and, and their daily day-to-day uh, -day operations. You really want to rank top of their inbox, and so you should be sending out those emails first thing in the morning. I'm, I'm talking, uh, really depending on your time zone, I'm talking 9 a.m., even 8, uh, 8 a.m., um, is, is really a good time range to send out those, those email outreach, a LinkedIn message, et cetera, et cetera. Ideally, you want your message to come in hot. For example, when they're checking their inbox, if your email pops up uh, right then and there, uh, you know, your open rate is, is really just gonna go through the roof. And so I've really split tested a ton of different uh, timeframes uh, for sending out uh, the emails and for sending out LinkedIn messages, uh, messages as well and social media outreach. It comes to, uh, as no surprise, by far the best time, the best period of, of the day is the morning. The, the next best period is uh, around lunchtime, uh, you know, uh, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., etc., etc. But it's also much better for you and your productivity to get your outreach done in the morning. And that, and that actually leads me to my second point. The second reason why it's important that you get your outreach done really first thing in the day is because it gives you the ability to win the day over. Now, a lot of people say that uh, outreach is just, you know, a numbers game um, and that if you, if you send out X number of emails, uh, then you know, you're guaranteed a specific median, right? I don't exactly agree with that because I can send out, for example, 10 highly tailored um, emails uh, with incredible ad copy and get a lot more responses and a lot more medians than someone who's just mindlessly sending out 300 emails, uh, not iterating according to feedback with very, very poor email copy. And so that's that. But I also believe that it's incredibly important to set, uh, to set uh, specific benchmarks because it's gonna, you know, first of all, it's gonna, you're gonna be able to define what success looks like in terms of benchmarks. These benchmarks should be set according to the type of conversions rates that you see. For example, if you need to send out 100 emails to land one meeting, then you can kind of see how you can scale that and you can really get a very, very clear idea of what uh, benchmark you should be meeting to scale your agency. But even if you don't have that yet, it's, it's very, very important that you set specific ben uh, benchmarks. It's really gonna give you a North Star, something to hold yourself accountable um, and it's also going to give you that satisfaction when you are able to hit that number and cross it out of your to-do list. And when you're just starting out, uh, especially beginners, but even if you're more advanced, more mature into the SMA uh, journey, it's incredibly important to set those benchmarks and meeting those consistently on a daily basis uh, will, first of all, uh, win the day for you and really the, the work will take care of you. So those are really the, the two main reasons um, why you should do outreach. First thing, uh, when you sit at your desk, Number one, as I said, you wanna move with the business clock. You wanna be at the top of that inbox. And number two is you really wanna win the day, right? And so by hitting those benchmarks at first, at the, uh, first thing in the morning, it's gonna give you massive momentum moving forward. Maybe when you're uh, sitting down for a coffee with a, a prospect or you have a, a client meeting over Zoom, right? And so those are the two main reasons. A little bonus, uh, what I will say is, I see a lot of people make this mistake and that is they'll do a lot of prospect and a lot of uh, lead sourcing when they sit at the desk and then they'll, they'll uh, leave the, the outreach and the, the sending out of, of emails and the actual revenue generating activities uh, for the end of the day. And at times just completely run out of time and they won't be able to do the outreach. And what I will say about that is it, that, that's really a massive mistake. If you're doing that, you should really change things around because when your clients are awake, when your clients are in work, you wanna be doing all the, the outreach, all the sales. When they're at their home uh, relaxing, whatever, 
uh, then that's when you want to you know sharpen the sword uh, do all the the lead swords and all the prospecting get all those all, the, all those lead lists uh, in place so that when they come into work you're really ready to hit them with those emails those messages etc etc and so that's a massive mistake that i see people make and uh, if you're do if you're making that mistake really change the whole schedule around it's really going to yield uh, much better results for you and so, so yeah hope that answered the question hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did drop a like it really helps out a ton with the algorithm also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right now. There's so much content coming out. Uh, sales outreach, which is uh, which is the main uh, focus of this channel. And it's the biggest roadblock that I see a lot of agency and SMA owners have, but also just a 360 approach to SMA uh, entrepreneurship mindset as well, which are really just passions of mine. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do, the, uh, and do so right now. I'm posting daily stories there, uh, meaningful posts, and also interacting via DMs. So lastly, guys, go ahead and check out the link in the bio. Uh, that's a link to my free Facebook group community. Uh, I've captured 100 people for now because I really just want to keep it small and sweet for now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an incredible group uh, full of like-minded people uh, trying to scale their agency and really move up in life. If you want to join that, go ahead and click the link in the bio. And as always, guys, hope your agency journey is going well. I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.